Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, here is the Maker Gear Rep Wrap Prussia that uh, I've been working on. It's uh, fully wired uh, except for the heated build bed and the thermistor for the build bed, but that shouldn't stop me from doing a fair bit of printing and just testing right now. Uh, it's being powered by just a hobbyist power supply for 12 volts. The ramps board that I'm using is a version 1.2. And here I've got the USB interface, and I've got the power for the extruder, the heat hot end. The little heat sinks, one, two, three, four, you may be able to see are uh, the Pololu driver boards on the ramps. This top green board is plugged into a lower board called an Arduino. And it is a, a quite a nifty little unit that you can program and tell it to do many different things for hobbyist, hobbyists. Um, this, as you can see, has already been extruding globs of uh, plastic. And um, there's no trouble at all getting that little hot end up to uh, a few hundred, several hundred degrees centigrade. On my desktop right now, I have a program called Pronterface running. And Pronterface is a Python-driven program written um, open source. It's the only one that I can make connect with my uh, Prussia. And it seems to work very well. I hope the focus is all right here. Um, I do have it currently connected. And um, if I were to move or cycle any of the axes, I will reverse my x-axis by 10. I'll give it a click. I can go, um, I can home all of my axes with this button right here, home. And now all the axes will reverse until they find the micro switch and send it to its zero spot. What it will do in the end, I hope uh, very soon, we'll be making um, things like this. This is uh, off of a $10,000 machine, but uh, the print resolution is no better than any of these uh, white components which are made by uh, another Maker Gear Prussia. So I am hopeful to have uh, uh, nice prints very soon. The main thing that caused me um, um, time was just being completely unfamiliar with, with the entire system. So to start things off, the Arduino board, I'll start at my Arduino IDE, it needs to uh, be told how that ramps board on top functions. And I'm going to go to File, Open. Um, there's some code that I've downloaded off of internet uh, from um, a site. I don't know the address, but with some very quick searching, you can find the code. It's called Sprinter. Um, I've dropped it into a folder, Rep Rep. Um, there it is there. Clement Sprinter into the Sprinter folder. And here we go. So what I've got now is um, the, the code required that I need to build to load onto the Arduino to tell it how to function. These are all the files. Many of the things that just weren't working for me were solved by the configuration.h. You need to tell it the type of motherboard, the version that you've got. You can define your thermistors. You can define the direction of travel for your um, end stops. Um, it's all right there. After you've made your changes, you can save the file. And then you can go to verify compile, build it. When it finishes, it'll tell you down here complete. And then, um, just with this little click right here, if you are connected to your Arduino, you give it a click and it will upload the newly built code. Um, and then you've got a freshly programmed um, rep wrap. 
So when that is all finished, you need something to operate it. And this is where the cross face comes in, or rep snapper, or others. Um, I couldn't make rep snapper connect and function properly. The, luckily for me, home um, proper face works. So the temperature feeds back just fine. I can um, just set my temperature that I want my hot end to function at. And so far, I've just to do to extrude and make these lumps. Um, I was running it at 230 to 240. Um, if we check temp, I can see that the temperature is 22 degrees centigrade. One thing that you might want to do is always just have monitor printer click down, um, and then you'll have a constant temperature reading over here uh, in case you do get that hot end running and you're not aware of it while the thing's powered up and plugged in. Well, this is running on uh, Ubuntu, Ubuntu, let's just check it out here, about, I had to upgrade, it wouldn't work in my LTS, 10.04 LTS, so I had to upgrade to 10.10 for things to compile, and, well, it works fine. I'm a Linux fan, everything functions properly, and it's free like a beer. So, um, if there's any questions, please uh, give me a YouTube jingle, and, um, um, maybe we can trade our notes because I don't have this baby working yet. So, so long for now.